Morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about the Ordinary Chia Seed Oil. There's a lot of oils going on just now, isn't there? <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy this or not, but my skin has been so dry lately that I was like, I'm really on board with oils. I'm going through them quite quickly, so I thought, why not? So, uh, it's in the usual dropper bottle. I'm having a real problem opening bottles lately. Um, and you know what? This one smells like fish to me. And it's really weird because <laughs> you'll laugh at me, but I got this one and I got the bee oil. It smells like fish. It smells like fish. And so I got this one, I got the bee oil and I used this one and I was like, it smells like fish. Then I used the bee oil and I was like, oh my goodness, that smells like fish as well. And I was like, perhaps it's just because I'd used the, the chia seed oil and I had that on my hands. So I was like, let me use it another night. And I was like, no, that one smells like fish as well. And then and I was standing in a shop, smelling my fingers, like standing there like this. Why do my hands smell like fish? I've not like touched that oil. I've washed my hands many times since. It's coming through my pores. And I was like, how weird do I look standing, smelling my hands? And then I was like, maybe it's me. Maybe I smell a fish. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. Oh, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting, but the rosehip oil smells like fish to me, as you know. So I need you to remember, sorry about all the crash banging. I'm, I'm a bit hyper because I just filmed the, filmed the beauty game changers that you might see after this actually, because it's going to take a lot of editing. Um, it took me about two hours to film it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. I, I'm aware I'm appear, appearing a little bit crazy and high at the moment. Okay, let me gather myself together for a minute. What I'm trying to say is that everybody has a different sense of smell and so not everybody smells fish oil in the rosehip oil. And even for myself, when I get the rosehip oil, it only smells of fish for the first few days of using it and then my nose obviously gets used to it. I've no idea why this smells of fish. I wouldn't have expected that from the chia seed oil. I've had chia seeds and, you know, melted them before, not melted them, but what's the word? Dissolved them before and they haven't smelled like fish. So I've no idea what's going on there, but it is what it is. The claims for chia seed oil are that it's soothing and calming, that it's nourishing, that it's high in alpha linolenic acid, um, that it's high in antioxidants, that it adds softness, sheen and strength to hair, but it does, on the ordinary website state that it's um, a skincare oil to be used on the skin but it obviously it can also be used in the hair i would even though i say the smell can dissipate i would be put off by using it in my hair because of that smell um the research the only research i could find topically was as in a group of patients that had renal disease and they had itchy skin and it was used as an anti-itch topical anti-itch lotion and it did work or a topical anti-itch oil I should say and it did work for that so I would say that it could be soothing um soothing calming and potentially nourishing um it's weird because it's not even the claims aren't even that big for this it just seems to be quite a an average joe of an oil you know soothing calming and nourishing but there's a lot of oils that have a lot bigger claims and a little bit more evidence behind them, I would say. So I'm not really sure the thinking behind bringing this oil out, but I haven't looked at, you know, the Facebook page of The Ordinary or heard anything about it. You know, there doesn't seem to have been any buzz around it or anything like that. There's one other company that I can see have bought a chia seed oil out. Um, it's about the same price. It's called Piping Rock. I've got it on the screen here, which is why I'm looking over. It's £7.63 and then you have to pay shipping. It's currently on sale and it looks to be the same kind of bottle as this. This one from The Ordinary is £6.70. Um, I found it to be pretty nice on my skin. It was about the same as the borage oil or the argan oil, it wasn't quite as thick as any of those that I just mentioned. It's a little bit of a thinner feeling oil. I think I showed you it there, didn't I? But I was busy rambling away. Um, it's not super thin, but it's just not quite as thick as, like I said, the argan oil or the rosehip oil. Um, but it felt very nice. Um, yeah, I don't have an awful lot to say about it. You know, my, my notes on it are very, very short. Like I said, there isn't really any evidence. There isn't really much buzz around it. Honestly, my honest opinion is that I feel like this was 
bought out just for the sake of it. it it seems like that and that I can tell you that that is an assumption of mine and I could be completely wrong but there doesn't seem to be anything special about it that I can see maybe I'm missing something I could be completely missing a trick here but there doesn't seem to be anything special about it there doesn't seem to be anything unique about it and there seems to me to be lots of other oils including by the ordinary that would be much more suitable for all the various issues that we have with our skin you know I would recommend the rosehip oil the borage oil the sea buckthorn oil marula oil if you have dry skin I didn't like that one as you know but the, the argan oil is lovely there's a lot of really good oils there I love the sea buckthorn oil I love the borage oil the argan oil is nice as well I wouldn't I wouldn't repurchase this one I, I just didn't see or feel anything amazing from it um, but there's nothing offensive about it other than the smell um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it let me know if I have missed something about it if I have missed some information about some wonderful properties about it but like I said everything I'm reading about it just says that it can give you soft skin basically um, and it might stop itchy skin but quite a few of the others do that as well the sea buckthorn and more recently I think it was the borage oil was the one that was tested in children with eczema so that one's quite a good anti-itch as well and in fact I'd recommend that one more um, so yeah that's my thoughts um, I hope that that was somewhat useful although not in depth there's not really much more to say on it so I'll give you a rundown of my makeup I have got on the Lancome Tainted Dual Ultra Foundation in 010 on my eyes is the Visart Amethyst Palette cheeks is Clinique Ice Lotus Blush lips is the Too Faced liquid lipstick in Queen Bee and then I've used a gloss on top of it that must be running out by now it's the Rimmel On My Gloss in Per Glossy Cat earrings can't remember where these were from next i think but they're very old this top is from next as well actually and that's everything thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon